Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. So, um, it is October 1st, guys. October 1st. Uh, happy October. <laughs> Whoa! Vampire Coliseum Board. Ha, <laughs> cool. Uh, okay, Coliseum Board. Raid board with mirrors and SIDS. Cool, look at this. We've got a whole new October th theme going on here. Okay, um, let's start at the top. Let's look at the notices. This is Halloween. Oops, sorry. Back. This is Halloween. <laughs> this is Halloween, Jack is here. Event period, October 1st until October 16th. So two weeks. Defeat Powerful Heartless to get the five-star Jack Skeleton Medal. In addition, the five-star Jack Skeleton Medal can be obtained through the event quest all players that log in after October 1st and before October 10th will receive a Jack Skeleton Medal. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so as long as you log in the next 10 days, you're going to get a free one for a, for login. And we probably won't get that one till later. There is Jack Skeleton. He is an upright attribute magic medal with a tier 3 uh, epic medal. Uh, he targets all. He deals a hit with no attributes. Okay, guys, gauge cost 3. So, he is BC Mickey. He is BC Mickey, but what are his stats? What are his stats? So I'm not going to get excited yet until I see his stats. A. B. This is something that we saw. And probably I know there are people right now who are already running the event. There are people right now doing it right now. Uh, so I would like to see people tell me. And people are actually telling me uh, that I need to restart my game. Which I think I'm fine. But I'll restart if I need to. Um, so this is what the big update was. Okay, so uh, we were talking before how this says for a Jack Skeleton Medal. For a Jack Skeleton Medal. And this says defeat Power Forwards to get the five-star Jack Skeleton Medal. So uh, I am wondering if this is going to be... And I know a lot of people above me are telling me the multiplier is this and that. I don't know. Unless someone already has them. If someone already has him, please post it on the Discord and we'll show him off. If not... We don't know exactly his stats yet, guys. We don't know his stats yet. Let's wait and see. Um, again, does this mean that we are only getting one and two if you log in? Or what's it going to happen? Oh, they already gave out the medal. Okay, so I need to restart my game to be able to do that. All right, so let's do this. Uh, apparently, everyone already got a medal. So I am going to restart my game really fast here. Thank you, Oblivion. So Oblivion told me to restart my game because everyone got them already. And... Okay, I don't know why that happens. Uh, let's go see him right away. There you go. A free Jack Skellington medal. Actually, this is going to be my screenshot for this. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, I am logged in 177 days into the game. And... I'm actually going to collect this medal right away because I want to see it. Alrighty. Let's go take a look at him. Oh, look, it says Happy Halloween in the back. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Um, let's go find him. He's going to be the last blue medal, I'm sure. There he is. Uh, so, Jack Skellington, 2.46 multiplier damage. Oh, my goodness, guys. Um... All right. Okay. 
All right, so uh, Captain Smitty, do you have one already guilted, man? Do you have one already guilted? And if you do, please share it in our uh, Discord channel, and we'll take a look at it. Um, okay, so let's go take a look. I, I know we're going to be all all over in this in this uh, in this video, guys. We're going to be jumping back and forth, but we have a lot to talk about. Uh, so there it is: defeat the raid boss to get medals, and there is the vanquished powerful heartless for Jack Skellington medal. Um, so you have a bunch here. One, two Jack Skellingtons, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have a chance of getting eight Jack Skellingtons on top of the one we got nine, plus a free one that is ten, guys. Okay. All right, so you have a capacity of getting ten of these. You could re-roll them three times, guys. You can roll him and re-roll him three times. Oh, no, that's the one we just got. Sorry, sorry. That's the one we just got. We just got the free one. Okay, sorry. So nine, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus nine, the free one we got. I apologize. You can get nine. You can guilt him and re-roll him twice. So good luck out there, guys. Good luck with that. I am actually going to do this. You know what? We're going to do this tonight, guys. We're actually going to do this tonight. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do it tonight. Uh, let's check defeat the raid boss again. Oh, you know what? What are the levels on this thing? Level 80 jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I have a feeling whatever else is in there is going to be really scary, guys. Mm. Defeat the raid boss. Uh, raid level legendary. Don't go alone. Don't go alone. What? For jewels. What? You get jewels? Let's check the raid boards. We can ra warrior raid board. Uh, Chip Dale. Chip Dale. Chip Dale. Chip Dale. Chip Dale. Sid Magic Mirror. You obviously don't need that many... Avid, many um, board uh, raid coins. Huh. Curious. All right, let's keep looking. Uh, so there is Jack Halloween. Uh, Jack Skellington, I mean. That's his stats. We already looked at that. Wow, guys, so much to talk about. Okay, next one. Uh, Halloween-themed weekend-only raid event. Period. Just for this weekend, we're going to have to hit this too. October's Halloween-themed weekend-only raid event is here. This month's raid is Hocus Pocus. So again, this means we're going to be getting this every single weekend, guys. Uh, the raid board has been updated with new rewards like a five-star magic mirror sweet additionally players can uh can earn some extra medals by defeating a level 10 raid boss cool um blah blah blah, 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 blah. okay you can when you defeat the level 10 raid boss you earn a six star chip a six star dale and a six star moogle very nice every day for the duration of the event between the following times you'll be able to get the following bo following bonuses to help you collect raid coins um so there it is two to two to three a.m so in one hour we can do one i guess we'll try it we'll try it, guys we'll try in an hour uh, spawn rates of raid boss doubles. Lux received from uh, raid bosses also double. Cool. So we're going to have fun with that one. Uh, next, October Coliseum update. Rank in the top 10,000 and get the Vampire Wings mail. Those wings seem a little low on the guy. Mm. Uh, Vampire Wings female, which increase your rare enemy perk by plus four, giving you an increased chance of encountering rare enemies. Uh, don't miss out on the chance to get this unique accessory for your avatar. Hmm. But wait, there's more. <laughs> get the all new. Get the all new attack prize plus and attack boost too. Skill by ranking in the top 2,500. This all new skill will increase your damage by 1.4 times and greatly increase attack price. This is dropped by enemies when triggered. Guys. APP and attack boost too. The implications are staggering. 
the implications are staggering, guys. So, where's the rewards? There's the there's the boards. So in the boards, we're gonna have an attack boost all one and attack boost one. Really, they're still giving attack boost ones. Oh, in the female one, there's a paralysis, sleep, poison. Okay, so oddly enough, these Coliseum boards don't have any attack boost twos. Hmm. There it is. If you are in the top 100, you're gonna get, you're gonna get one APP plus AB two, and you're gonna get two APPs. Guys, they are throwing out APPs like crazy. Uh, attack boost two times three. I thought that read attack boost three for a second. Um, okay, that's where your rewards are right there. So, uh, the goal, guys, is to be in the top 2,500 this time. Right there. If you're in the top 2,500, you will get at least, well, between 1,000 and 2,500, you'll get at least one APP. What, what do we call this? One APP AB2 and... Two APPs. And three attack boost threes. Attack boost twos. Wow. Attack boost two, sorry. Attack boost twos. Um <laughs> the top ten thousand get an APP. So if you never had an APP, now's your time to get it. And you're gonna get wow, okay. So very interesting, guys. Very interesting. Um that seems to be all the notices. Um let's go take a look at the Coliseum. Coliseum boards. There they are. Let's see the extra one. Anything crazy? No, nothing crazy. We're not even, we're not going to look at the boards right now. We're, we'll look at them later. Um, actually, you know what? I want to see if anyone's already... Probably right, we already have some top players. Yep, someone's already in 710. So, congratulations. People are grinding this right away. If you don't know why people grind Coliseum from day one at the very, very beginning... Um, there's a reason why, uh, you're kind of guaranteed a higher level eventually. It's, it's, it's a good strategy. It's a good strategy. If, if you want to be in the top, okay. If you want to be in the top 200, top hundred or top thousand, and you feel like you don't have the medals to get there, do Coliseum as soon as it comes out. Um, you'll be, you'll be guaranteed a chance to be much higher than other people who come up behind you. Um, okay, so there's the events. Anything in the special quests? Nope, Mugo Glory still here for another day. Nothing else down here. No other collect. Nope, nothing to collect. Uh, let's check that again. Arabian challenge. Oh, there's another challenge, isn't there? Let's check out today's challenge. Uh, compete with having to continue Saturday skills and thrills. Trigger skill attack boost two and defeat three dark plants. So we'll do this later. I'm not going to do it in this video too much, guys. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like, wow. Okay. Uh, and finally, again, the Jack Skeleton quest. Guys, I'm... Okay. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching. This is October 1st, guys. October 1st. They just dropped. And we have zero APP. Sorry, we have zero AP. <laughs> uh, we have zero AP, guys. We still have zero AP for two more days. Uh, and as okay, as much as I love all this is happening, I'm going to continue farming. Okay, I'm going to continue farming my stuff. Yes, I will tell you this. If you want to come to the stream, I'm going to be up for a couple hours more probably. Um, I am going to get. I am going to do the the. Um, I'm going to do the entire Jack Skellington and probably guilt him before zero AP goes away. And that's okay. That is my biggest recommendation. So tips, uh, two tips that I'll give you. If you want to be higher in Coliseum, 
start Coliseum the second it starts. Go as hard as you can and get as high as you can. Just, just go. Just go. Grind it and get up there and keep going until you can't get up anymore. And I'll tell you why. The reason is because let's say that I were to reach level uh, tier, uh, sorry, round 80, tier 10. And I'm the first one to get it. Every single person who reaches round 80, tier 10 after me, will come after me. If I am the very first person to get it. So there you go. There's a, there's a tip, guys. There's the big tip. <laughs> That's why people go crazy doing Coliseum as soon as they start. And that's why people like me who wait till the very last moment to do it, we usually end up a couple, you know, dozen or hundred spaces behind everyone else. Second tip I'll give you. Um, do this Jack Skellington event before Zero AP goes away. I don't know if uh, Square Enix is going to extend Zero AP. Um, part of me really wishes, like I explained in the other video, I really hope they do f to give the free-to-play players a fighting chance. Um, I hope they do so we don't have to rush doing a bunch of stuff, but at the same time I hope they don't do because zero AP as awesome as it is when it hangs around a little while it gets stale and It gets stale and and, and and the drop after it goes away. It's just too much. It's really depressing to be honest uh, After it goes away you you kind of are left like what am I going to do? You know, you know, like that John Travolta thing of that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of how you get, how you feel at the end, you know? Um, so yeah. So my recommendations are work as hard as you can in getting materials. You need materials, especially this Jack Skellington metal. You're going to need materials to upgrade it. Um, and do the event, do the Jack Skellington event before zero ap goes away because we don't know how much these are going to cost after these could cost 10 20 30 40 50 ap each one and it could be very expensive you don't have to farm them though so i guess that's good anyway uh and last but not least uh defeat the raid boss to get medals guys do it with your friends uh talk to your party i'm going to do that right now i'm going to start messaging uh our party we're going to try our very first try right now in about uh 43 minutes uh when the first round comes around uh and we'll try it around oh wait is it half right now no, it's not. No, it's not. It's just zero AP. So it's not double chance right now or double experience or whatever. Um, I am very curious to see what we're going to get here. So you know what? We will do a video later. We'll do a video later where I get today's daily jewel challenge event and where we do the raid boss um, and try them out. So thank you very much, for guys, for watching. Stay tuned because, guys, there is going to be so much coming in the next couple of days. Um, it's in two hours. Okay. In two hours, fine. I'll be here. Um... I'm going to be doing these events sooner than later. Uh, I may even try and do some Coliseum. <sighs> this is going to be a very interesting month. Thank you much for watching, guys. I am DUJ2 as always, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.